LumaFusion's editing model combines the familiarity of a traditional track-based editor with the benefits of a magnetic timeline with clip linking. As we build on our projects, adding B-roll, titles, logos and audio, we create a multi-layer project consisting of various layers. By default, layers are connected to the main track through a feature called clip linking. These small lines indicate a link and connect the first frame of the linked clip to the adjacent frame on the main track. Clip linking is important as it enables you to edit away securing the knowledge that your media will not shift out of sync when you're making changes to earlier parts of the timeline. If clip linking wasn't active here, these layers would go out of sync with your edit. However, there may be times when you don't want clips to be linked. For example, if you need a layer to play out at a specific time in your video, say this sound effect at 10 seconds in, you can place the layer in the position you want it and rather than have it linked to the clip on the main track, simply tap the link unlink icon to remove the default clip linking. Now it won't move even if the clips on the main track do. To unlink multiple clips in one go, simply use the multi-select tool. As clip linking is designed to preserve your edits as you make changes to the timeline, you'll also notice that linked clips will move with the footage on the main track. Just see here how picking up a clip from the main track will also pick up its layers. Note with this in mind, if you choose to delete a main track clip, the layers attached to it will also be deleted. If you don't want this and instead would like to unlink all the layers attached to a specific clip on the main track, highlight the clip on the main track itself and tap the unlink icon. Now the layers above it will not be linked or moved and instead stay where they are if the clips on the main track are altered. When you're deleting or moving unlinked clips on the main track, it's important here to have an understanding of insert and overwrite modes, as this may affect the position of the following clips on your timeline. If you change your mind at any point, make sure the clip on the main track is selected and just tap the link icon again and its layers will be connected. The same goes for individual layers that you wish to relink. Just select and hit the link icon. Taking clip linking and unlinking a step further, if you want all of the clips on an entire track to unlink from the main track, simply use the link unlink icon in the header menu. This is great for when you've timed your clips perfectly for your project, like this voiceover here for example, and don't want the movement of other content on the main track to affect it. It's worth noting though that new clips added to this track while clip linking is turned off will be unlinked and cannot be linked manually to the main track until linking in the track header is turned back on, which you'll be pleased to know can be done in one go with a simple tap to the link unlink icon.